It's been five years since Chancellor Jimmy Baker took over at the Alabama Community College System, and in that time, he's continued to work to support students, business, and industry. Joining us live via Zoom is Chancellor Jimmy Baker himself. Chancellor Baker, thank you so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Tell us about your role with the Alabama Community College Systems and why are community colleges so important to our state? Well, I think the one thing that everyone should remember and think about is we offer an opportunity for all citizens, regardless of what your grade point average was, regardless of what you desire to do, if it's straight A or maybe a little less than that or quite a bit less than that, we offer a way for you to engage in an activity, academics, workforce training, and a variety of other skills training programs that would lead to an opportunity that you could participate in a growing and successful economy and earn a wage that you can be comfortable with and happy about. Uh, we're in the business of building strong Alabama people who are willing to work and willing to do what it takes to move the state forward. And we, we don't limit who may participate. In five years, how do you believe that community colleges have directly impacted the community and workforce? Well, I, I think without a doubt we have been doing that on a regular basis. You know, we have 24 colleges, uh, over 88 instructional sites, in fact, over 100 instructional sites, but 88 centers around the state. And we offer a variety of training programs, and we've been doing that for an extended period of time. We're not doing everything we want to do, and we're gonna continue to grow that. But I think there is no doubt in my mind that the community college system is the best vehicle to change this state because we open our doors to everyone who wants to come in and improve their quality of life. For parents at home, why should they encourage their children to consider going to a community college? Well, you know, it's an interesting situation that we face today. Uh, I was fortunate. Uh, I grew up in an environment, but I worked all the time. Uh, I lived at home, I commuted to college, and I worked and was able to pay the cost. Uh, that was all, that is almost impossible today. It's almost impossible for a student to make as much money as they need to make if you're dealing with the tuition of a four year college. I'm not opposing the four-year colleges. I don't want to be read that way. But we offer everyone an opportunity to receive an affordable education that will work within their schedule that may not be the schedule that you would have if you were at a four-year college and totally committed to that on a daily basis. And we give you the flexibility of finding a way to afford and the time frame to go to a community college. Chancellor Baker, um, what achievement so far are you most proud of and what's next for the system as a whole? I think one of the things that I'm proud of, we've gone through in this country, uh, a pandemic environment that has kind of given us all maybe questions about, are we doing what we need to be doing and doing everything? During that same period of time, I've watched college enrollment decline. The community college systems across the country have declined at a significant percentage. However, because of the work that we've been doing and the work that a exceptional staff and people at our colleges have worked awfully hard to recruit and have people to come to college, and our enrollment is up uh, at this point, it looks like we're gonna be better than 6% increase since the pandemic. And I think it may even be better than that. I'm, a pr I'm proud of that. I'm proud of the fact that we have a staff of people around this state 
in our colleges who think so much of helping the community and helping the people that they're willing to work extra hard to try to bring people into the community college and help them prepare for life. Chancellor Jimmy Baker, thank you so much for all of that and thank you for joining us here on Alabama Live. And thank you for the opportunity.